YouTube viewers, Bell Chani for the video. This is the first actual content video in the new house. So today I got off eBay is um, a high a hard drive caddy. As you can sort of see wrapped up here. I'm gonna unbox it. I've taken it out of the plastic rubber. I got this off eBay for about 24 bucks. If I can find a link for it, I'll put it in the description down below. So what I'm gonna do is unbox it. We're gonna set it up, have a look, see how um, it works. I'm gonna use use me um two and bring it up here the two terabyte Seagate Barracuda, which is a few. Oh, it's old, but not old, old. So, I took this out of the uh, this computer here the um, the Acer Expire SA80, which you would have seen plenty of videos in the past. As this was the computer I found in the garbage, we found in the garbage room at work one day. So, that computer. My, be doing, I'll be doing a video on that computer down the track because um, I'll be re imaging it with Windows 10 and hopefully selling it. So I have no need for it anymore because we'll have these servers up and running and the main content will be done on the iMac. So before I blabber off and get off contents, we're gonna we're gonna get the iPad on its little stand, get a good view of me unboxing it. So in the plastic bag you get an instruction, you get an owner, owner, uh, owner's manual, I know it's not the best view, which gives you uh, like instructions, installations, and I believe it only works in Windows, so I don't have any Windows, it just gives you software, so it gives you the hardware software for cloning hard drives over, which will always be handy, the in installation driver CD, which I will keep that, because that will be handy for when I've got to use it on the servers. Because one of the servers I'll be setting up will be running a, a Windows server. It'll be Ubuntu, I think it's 16.4. So, if I can get it all out without damaging stuff. I've, got, I've encountered a problem with the testing. I have a different... It has an um, overseas power supply, but what I can do is... I think I've got one with these these plugs here somewhere around the house, so I can get another one and plug it in, and we can do the testing, which has an Australia head on it. I, I can go to the shops and buy an adapter, but I don't really have the time to stuff around with that. So here is the USB cable, I believe it's USB 2.0, and it is USB to USB, which will, which you know this cord will come in handy as well. Now here is the machine, the um, stand for the hard drives, which I'm just going to get it out of the, so it's in this protective wrap. And cool thing about this is, it is non-branded, but it also does um, IDE, and and also SATA, as you can see, if I can get it right, as you can see there, SATA, and also IDE, which is pretty a good bonus for what I got for it, so it's an IDE SATA docking station, it's it's it's, it's unbranded, it's a cheap um, a Chinese version, USB 2.0, as you can see the model is 875D, USB 2.0, so it fits all 2.5 and 3.5 inch IDE SATA hard drives, power input, 100 slash 225, 50, 60 hertz, etc. Has all the logos, so, and I believe, well look at that spot and switch, I think it's a power switch, I've got no idea what that does, it doesn't even move. So on the front here, right, it's got a power switch. Uh, the dock connector, the USB connector, so it's USB 2.0, around the back, it has the lights. So I'm assuming how it works, I'll demonstrate to you how it works. I can get a good, I'm, trying to get a good, I'm trying to get this in a good spot. There we go, that's good, that's better. So we get, so where's my hard drive? Here it is. So we get the hard drive and we put it down like this in the docking station. 
so that's stopped in there now. I'm assuming to take it out, you just you've got to push this button and it comes out. So what I'll do is I'll come back with it all plugged in, set up, rolling, and I'll have the Mac boot up and we'll have a look at the thing in action. Hopefully it might not might not work properly in in um in the Mac because Mac uses Mac OS journaled to read the hard drives, but it might read NTFS. I'm not exactly sure on this because this Seagate Barracuda is formatted to NTFS to work with because it was in a Windows machine. So I'll just come back. So you see I've got it hooked up the back. If, you, if I put the iPad close to you, you can hear the hard drive just spat up, it's spinning up. Computer, the Macintosh is booting up. So So we'll find out if this works. Might have issues because the um because of the hard drive, so so far. So far so good. It's got two lights on it. It's got a hard drive indicator light and a blue power light. So I found I was managed to, I was able to find a power supply at work. So what I'm gonna do is log into the Mac and tell you if it's hooked up on the desktop. So as you can see on the Mac, the Seagate expansion drive icons there. So it is working. I'm really pleased about that actually. Because I want to keep this hooked up, because this is my main drive that I had to make a bit of store shit on. As you can see here, let's start up. Has all my old content on it. Some of the old videos, so I'll be going through and wiping stuff off here that I don't need. Because eventually, I will have to wipe stuff off. As, um... As this will be get these this drive will be when I get me um my Apple X server will be going in there as as to as this other hard drive over here which is a, a Western Digital two terabyte green which I find is a really reliable I'm really happy with that that's a good I got that out of me um my book my book live because the my book live power thing just pretty much cracked itself so I scored a hard drive from it these. This is a pretty solid drive too. Good for what I'll be using it for anyway. So, anyway, catch you in the next video.